my roommate died. So, uh, so many other persons. So, government need to intensify the campaign and awareness. Abdurrahman Balogu is a media practitioner. Despite his level of awareness and taking all precautionary measures, he still contracted coronavirus, which he initially thought were symptoms of malaria. It was like a joke. I was, I just noticed I've been losing my appetite to eat. Uh, in the evening, I'll be shivering. Finish using the drugs. There's unfortunately no improvement. Suddenly, cough enter into it. I find it difficult to even talk. I just drove out one Monday like that, straight to the National Hospital. However, Abdurrahman lived the reality of coronavirus infection. Thanks to the professional care he received from the frontline health workers at the National Hospital, Abuja, and the medications administered, he is alive today to tell the story. He said, Mr. Barugun, you are here by the charge, you can go, but don't still go out. Go home and uh, isolate yourself for another two weeks. And I must say this, the government is really trying because while we are there, our breakfast, our lunch, our dinner, our drugs, injection, are free. The beds are free. If you are to pay for that services for two weeks or more, you know how much you pay per day. So we have to give that to the government because how many people will be able to afford such a, an expensive treatment? Life for Abdurrahman after COVID-19 experience, he says, has strengthened his resolve never to let down his guard while advocating all to take personal responsibility, which is crucial to curbing the spread of coronavirus. In Abuja, Hakimat 